Now we're going to continue our analysis from before using the data that we downloaded from the expression values when we ran RNA-seq. Now we're under the RNA-seq page still, the RNA-seq map, so we want to go up to areas of analysis to machine learning. And, and since we only have a single file, we're going to just add files rather than a, a URL bulk, uh, bulk upload as we did before. So our expression genes. And then continue here. And then we push start as before. Quantile normalization. This is a single step. Now from here, we can actually end the analysis, run the pipeline, or go straight into PCA. And then we're going to keep the filter number. We want a, 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 a filter on the 25% max. We're going to put it into already logged. We can also go straight from, from starting and go into PCA without normalization, then you would put no for log. The, norm, the normalization uh, puts it into a log, uh, log format. Now you need to know what column your data ends on, so you'll look at that in the Excel sheet. And so our last column is 22, column the data starts on, and that is column two, which you will also see the first column being the list of, of genes. Click Save, and and then again, we can uh, type in PCA test, and and then we, we we save it and we run it, and then we we go check the pipelines and we see it started. But we also have these ones that I have run before, one of which I I uh, ran on normalized data and one which was just the uh, PCA that we normalized and then did. And here we will, and we can download the, the uh, gene expression genes normalized or the PCA results. And then from here we go back into Excel. We open the data, uh, import the data, a text file, and then we get, where is it, our, our normalized PCA result and get data. And you will see up here, so this is a list of principal components, and you see up here, the first principal component contains most of the variation, second contains the next amount, and, and down until you get to the end. Uh, and you see we have about 31% of our variation is accounted for by the first two principal components. If we uh, take the first two columns, we put a scatter plot, and this is what we will see for the x uh, axis being the, the first principal component and the y axis being the second pr principal component. And that's it for this part of the analysis. Next, we will, we will look at the normalized data and run a t-test.